Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. In the last episode, we got Ale Alexandria, uh, talked around to this one old guy here, and then we went back to Alexandria because I fucked up. But now, we are back here. I got the three pieces, did all the other necessary stuff, so... Here's uh, number four, and there's one more. There's the ogre, we already have that weapon though. They're giving it to you just in case you have been under a rock for the past the rest of the game. I just realized when I was fighting that battle that I said past rest of the game. I don't think that sentence makes sense. Okay, so that's a loop around there. We saw Rama go down, or however some people pronounce it, go down around here. I think we got to go up here to get not even a minute in. I've already had two boss battles. Or not boss battles, what the hell. Right, grab that chest, get the mithril armlet, not like it matters, and try to find what's his name. Not here. Go back up here. I know where he's at. He's hiding the little old bastard. And that's silence, the last piece. So now we can roll on out of here. I climb back up here because I decided to get that chest. Not like it matters. And hopefully without a fight. Hopefully without a fight. Yes, we made it. So you found all five. Let's hear the story. Alright, I'm not going to read the story. I'm just going to choose the parts. Obviously, the beginning is the beginning. I'm going with... If you want, you can pause it. Um, let's go with that, that, and that. Beginning, human, silence, hero wrong I'm afraid you must start over yes I want to start over I'm not great at this that human co-op silence hero I don't know if that's even right ah yes let me ask you all right no matter what you choose it the last two um, he's gonna ask you why did you do it and she's gonna give a bullshit answer and uh, yeah then he tests her even more. And then we get Ram... 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 Ramu. Rama. I call him Rama. Maybe now. Let's go to Limblum. Okay. Hey, old man. You're gone already? I wanted to ask him why he made Dagger play such a silly game. Those are just things people say after the fact. Why? Yeah, that's great. Yeah, you can leave, and uh, she won't be, uh, he won't be become her elderly Delon Esper, I'm going to say, summon. <laughs> and now the old man is talking to us, even though he's in the shape of a gym right now, but, you know, whatever. Okay, that's, that's nice. So after some lag, we will have a cutscene. One of the best cutscenes in the game. Look, it's Lum Lum Castle. Such a pretty castle. Uh, let's jump off now. Y'all might like this cutscene. I, I personally do. And as long as it doesn't lag, it should be fun. I want to use my summon magic to protect everyone. Except we're going to kill people with it, because that makes sense. I want to protect everyone by using deadly force. And speaking of deadly force... It's the Red Rose, which is the airship for the Queen of Alexandria. And they're shooting fireworks off. No, more like bombs. Straight at Lindblom Castle to destroy it. I'll stop talking now so we can watch this.
must be telepods sending black mages directly into the castle. They use summon magic afterwards. Well, that's not good. I don't understand why they don't use Odin here. But, I mean, I think Odin would be the most destructive. But, this is pretty cool to watch. So, Limblum's not so, uh, I don't know. Mother, I can't believe you attacked Limblum. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, Limblum is not so, uh, impervious to Alexandria as they thought. So we're keeping DV behind, because that's a good idea. Alright, now that I've got control, let's turn down the volume so I don't go deaf, and equip the Paradox so we can get her to, wait, okay, she wouldn't learn anything, get her to learn Rama, hey, it's a black mage, finish it off, should I crush its head, how about its chest, he's a leaving, living creature, leaving, what the hell, brain programmed him, them to kill, but they're just like anybody else, lies, all lies, Let's go in the end. Oh, we can go in. I was kind of expecting not to be able to. I like how this guy is just, you know, running his business like nothing happened. Um, I'm gonna go talk to the Mog Moogle up here. From Sereno. Rode an airship called the Red Rose. Odin is terrifying. Not even a trace of the city. And we got one from Ruby, trying to find actors for her little business, mini theater, that's great. Does she mean lol? He's a narcissist, alright. Koopa. <laughs> and we get uh, another letter, and I think, yeah, that's it. So that's all you gotta do with that Moogle. That took 30 seconds. Longest Moogle interaction in the game. <laughs> Alright, where do we want to go now? I want to go to the weapon shop and see if they got anything new. I hope they got something new, because I need a new weapon for Zidane. We got Alexandrian soldiers walking around, I think. No, not yet. An airship flew down because of the thing. Oh, there it is. We got a Limblum card. That's a pretty rare card, and it's good to have for upcoming events later in the game. The industrial district is gone and the business and theater district are in the ruins. So we can't go to the industrial district because there is no industrial dif district. Industrial district, industrial district, industrial dis district. Ah, oh, jeez. I almost thought I could say it three times fast, but I have to... So apparently if you come in here, we gotta go to the castle. I was hoping to go get new weapons, but no. Princess Garnet is back. Uncle Sid is chilling outside. No, not that, what's his name, Atmos? Atmos was just out there sucking everything up. And I like how it looks all daytime now. I mean, it didn't, it looked really dark a minute ago. But that's just me in my opinion. We wound up in Pinnacle Rocks instead of Trino. They'll be fine on their own. Guac, guac. Did you ride the Gargant? How did you know? It's my job to know the land surrounding my country. 
Yeah, that's great. Brain was after the summons. As underestimated the power of them. Yes, you did. Maybe I deserve to be cursed with this body. I don't know about that. What can I do? What can she do? We will find out in the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. This has been the Tigers here signing off. Have a good day, everybody.